So I've been thinking, is it possible to walk the London Marathon and still get a medal? I mean, think about it. You, you wouldn't have to do any of that training. You wouldn't have to go through all that effort. You could just show up on the day, walk the 26 miles and then get your medal just like everyone else, get all the accolades, all the everything like that. So first of all, we've got to think if it's theoretically possible to actually do this and do it within the winning time. So over to the whiteboard. Now all the races start at 10 in the morning. To obtain a finisher's medal, you need to complete the event by the cutoff time, which is currently seven o'clock in the evening. So if we take the start time of 10 o'clock, and we take the finish time of seven o'clock and we take those away from each other, we have a duration of nine hours to complete the marathon and still get a medal. But what does all this mean? Like how, how fast do you need to be traveling? What pace? Like could, could, could a human run that? So let's do some math. We're gonna be limiting the variables by putting up what we know and then you know, finding out backwards, reverse engineering it, basic algebra. We're going to throw up the triangle here, and on the triangle we're going to have distance, we're going to have time, and we're going to have speed. And this is the way you work this out. Well, we know the distance, which is 26.2 miles, and we know the time we need to finish in, which is 9 hours. So if we take the 26.2 miles and we divide it by 9 hours, we have to run an average speed of 2.9 miles per hour. That does not sound fast. So I've just looked up the average walking speed and it is 3.1 miles per hour. So that's 0.2 miles per hour faster than what we need. But then again, what's that in pace terms? Well, pace terms, that is 20 and a half minutes per mile. Ridiculous. That's like an episode of The Simpsons per mile. And you would still get a medal. So you would be finishing on the dot at nine hours, and this isn't including like loo breaks and water breaks and things like that. So theoretically, it is possible to walk the London Marathon quite easily and still get a medal. Right, let's go back to the other guy. And now we know it is theoretically possible. Well, there's a lot of things that are theoretically possible, but it's actually practical to be able to walk that far. I mean... You, you would have to walk non-stop effectively because we haven't actually taken in like the human factor of having to stop for water, having to stop for loo breaks, having to stop for, I don't know, anything. And then you've got your own body. Can your body actually stand to go that far? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's get an Uber. Okay, so just jumped out the Uber. We're here at Chertsey Bridge. This is going to be the start point today and 26.2 miles somewhere in that direction is a Lump London Olympic Stadium, which is the finish line for today. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Google says it's going to take eight and a half hours. It's coming up to 8.30, so we're going to start the race at 8.30. And finishing time, because you have to finish it in nine hours, it's going to finish at Cut off is going to be 5.30, so if you don't make it by 5.30. Now the problem is that on the London Marathon they close all the streets down. I've got to contend with all the traffic and, you know, pedestrian lights and everything like that. So I've got to go even faster to make up for that. Alright, let's go. Got my audio book on, so it's going to be a wild journey. Probably not my most exciting vlog. But then none of them really are, are they? This is the start of 22.6 miles, starting right now. I'm already feeling like I should start running just to get a good head start on this, but uh, no, we're going to keep it at a walking pace, at least my walking pace, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've already struggled to cross the road once already, so this is going to be fun. Just got to look ahead, plan my route, and yeah, hopefully I'll be there before 5.30. So just on our first mile, at a 14 point something pace, which is on track for a six and a half hours finish time. Well above the target. Here we go, coming up in the first major town. I mean, this reminds me of my old marching days. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left. Mile two down, still 14 minute pace, and yeah. 
So we've just done three miles now at 14 minute pace. That's brilliant. That means we're right in the metal zone. We're going to come under the target by about three hours, roughly, if my math is right. I just realized something that's a little bit gross, that there's going to be nowhere for me to stop and pee. <laughs> like at the marathon, they'll have like portaloos and stuff, but here I've got nothing. So and if I stop, that's also going to add to the time. See, this is also why I can't stop and pull over to get good shots. It's because if I stop, it means it's going to add to the time. So we just got to keep going and getting live action shots of walking just to keep that 14 minute pace. Probably hoping for 15 by the end. So. Just done four miles. We're doing a 14 minute pace still. So we just literally non-stop, constant, go at this pace. I'm just watching out for the geese poo down here. Yeah, it's going very well. What is that, like a fifth or something? No, it's not a fifth. About a fifth-ish. Done. So we've just done five miles. The pace is starting to drop to 15 minutes per mile, which means it's still well above target, but it is dropping. Also, regarding the toilet issue, I guess the runners would have to stop and use the loo. So therefore, I'm going to have to stop and use the loo as well. And this is what I'm talking about, like the obstructions on the road. See, because of these road works, I'm going to have to change over again. Look both, yeah, look both ways. Good. So. Oh. Honestly, why am I bothering to train and run and all this? I could just sit at the back and couch and just like gently walk this thing out and just be like yeah i really enjoy the moment with the crowd and woo -hoo -hoo. but yeah i guess you only do it once so you want to get the kind of the best time so that is six miles down we're now at 14.5 mile pace it's still looking good coming up to the fourth of the run walk seven miles done 14 and a half mile pace on a half minute pace. Yeah, that's a quarter done. Doing pretty good. Eight miles down, and we're still on target to smash it out of the park. Uh, that's when you know you're near London. You see a double decker bus. So we are nine miles in, and we've just reached Twickenham. It's almost lunchtime, I keep looking at all the cafes and things, I'm just thinking, mm, we could stop for a bit of lunch, but nope, got to continue. I'll give it 10 miles, we're going for over two hours now. It's constant walking, it's going good, but I'm smashing it. I've got to do this again, and then six more miles. <sighs> so yeah, we just made it to Richmond, on the, near the 11th mile. So that's halfway, I think, ish. Twelve miles done. Well, I could just take two. It would be easier. You know, but do this again. Yes, I'm sorry. That was. This is twelve miles now. That was eleven back there at Richmond Station. Um, yeah, absolutely smashing it. We're done by midday. Absolutely smashing it. We're so ahead of target. I could stop and have a bit of lunch. I think. Absolutely smashing this, and we're just going to keep going, keep constantly going and going and going. Another great thing about doing this is that I can put it into terms in my mind where I am on the course and where I'm doing now. So like, you know, three miles summer, five miles out, 12, 11 miles Twickenham. I can see it in my mind. I can see how far I've got to go as well. Thirteen miles down, officially at the halfway point. Yes, and uh, three hours in, so we're at like an hour over target. We're two hours over target actually. If we double this, it's six. Yeah. So thirteen miles down, smashing it. We're doing. We've done about three hours of walking. If we double that, that's six hours. The target was nine, so we're like three hours ahead of ourselves. I could stop and have a cup of tea. Maybe even a whole lunch. You know, we're gonna actually smash it. Go for, try and go for six, seven hours. See you in a bit. 
So the reason why I've got on all my weather gear is because there's going to be the storm coming. Which just hasn't happened. So I am sweating like a dyslexic on countdown. Oh, gone over the 14 mile mark. And we're absolutely smashing it. We're still on target, still on point. We're starting to get a bit knackered now, but we can do this. This is a lovely job. Sixteen miles done and complete. It's keeping up the pace. We're still on time to smash it. But my feet are starting to hurt. My legs are starting to feel it now. And uh, I want to stop. I don't want to stop. I want to smash my record and smash the target. Sixteen miles in, still keeping pace. I'm still going quick. Somehow keeping pace. And yeah, but legs are starting to knacker. Still starting to go. Poop. But 10 more miles left, that's it. Then we'll be there. So let's get a little tech report going. So the iPhone is really holding up well. I'm really impressed with the battery life. It's playing out the news and giving me directions. So it still hasn't used like a quarter of its power. So that's going to be really good to know that it's going to last the whole of the marathon. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy another battery for this. And then stop parking around to change it over. Maybe we can get a bigger memory card. But yeah, take the port over. Seventeen miles later and we are in Kensington. This is Kensington Palace that we're currently walking through. And it's been about four hours. I'm knackered. But there's only like eight miles to go, so get in. Over there is Kensington Palace. And that is the hour. Oh, now we're flying past. Unfortunately, the route doesn't go that way. So, yeah, toilet update while no one's around. Uh, I don't really need that break anymore. I think it's all turned to sweat. There you go. 18 miles. We're still doing a 14.5 pace. And yeah, it's lovely when you're in a park like this with not many people around. But I've just checked out my route. We're coming up to Marble Arch, and if you know London, that's right next to one of the busiest streets that there is. Oxford Street and all the shopping. And apparently, I've got to go straight through that. And that is going to significantly slow me down. With all those bumbling idiots pumbling out the shops. Sorry, I'm just in a bad mood because it's been 18 miles. Ugh. Every bump, every crook, every nanny is painful. Still, not long to go. Nineteen miles. And we're right next to Marble Arch. Still smashing it. Uh, for us, it's true. Hours later, almost there. See, so, yeah. five hours later, we're on 21 miles. It's really not fun anymore. It's really hurting. I think I'm coming up against the wall. Just want to sit down, have some lunch, or do something else. I've got to keep going. Almost there. My legs really hurt. This is 22 miles now. I just hate it. It's awful. My legs feel like crap. We've still got four miles to go. And it's just, this is just not fun anymore. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I actually have to run this bloody fucking thing. Christ. 23 miles. I think I'm gonna have to take a break. It's absolutely shattered. Twenty-four miles. Can't be asked to give an update. Okay, so you guys want an update? Wow, my legs hurt. I feel like I'm gonna puke, and 
I'm just really tired and I just want a beer. Well, I've only got two miles left. So we're on the final mile. This actually feels really good to be on the final mile, but my knees are shot. Uh, it's been over six hours and as predicted, we are falling to the 15 minute mark. Um, just gonna speed up now. But it just feels absolutely awful. I'm paying for every step, but what have I signed up for? I mean, this is what's gonna be like when I'm walking it. What's it going to be like when I'm running it? Oh. The finish line is only half a mile away. Yeah, I'm walking like a zombie. It's so, oh, so agony, agony every step. What have I signed up for? Oh. Bloody hell. We've done it. We've done it, 26.3 miles walking, we are here, oh, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park Stadium, which is exactly 26.3 miles from Chertsey Bridge, fire walking, oh, I think I'm just dying of these right now. Yes! Champion! Made it! And what's it better? What's better is there isn't even a football match on. So I've got it all to myself. It's almost like I planned it. So, what did I learn from this? Oh, I'm pleased to be here, number one. Uh, I'm never going to take public transport for granted again. Uh, I really need a beer more than I've needed a beer in my entire life. I feel completely drained. Um, I've learned I'm definitely not ready for this. Like, we definitely need to put so much more into diet and training. Um, it's just shocking. Great thing I can take away from this is the visualization of the distance. And the actual amount of effort it takes to run a marathon. Um, yeah, I'm quite scared. I'm scared now, but also if, plan B. If everything fails, I can walk it and get it in medal range. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, right. I'm looking forward to a long train journey home. See you on the other side.